Hi, I'm Albert Cantu from CPS Energy. Thanks for participating in the CPS Energy Savers Smart Thermostat Program. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to program your smart thermostat. This is going to help you save up to 10% annually on your heating and cooling costs, while at the same time helping CPS Energy reduce its peak time energy demands. All right, let's begin. The smart thermostat is a seven-day model that allows you to have a different schedule for every day of the week. It also features four set points for adjusting times and temperatures. The four set point settings are wake, leave, return, and sleep. So let's begin by selecting the schedule button. The next screen is titled view schedule. You can also create a schedule by selecting the edit button. Because this is your first time programming your smart thermostat, we're going to choose the edit button. You'll notice at the top of the next screen a box for every day of the week starting with Monday all the way through Sunday. I'm going to help you create a schedule for Monday through Friday. Follow these same steps to create a schedule for your weekends. To select Monday through Friday, simply touch each box to put a check mark in them. Now we're going to adjust the times and temperatures by selecting one of the four set points. Let's select the wait button. You'll notice the button is flashing. This indicates that we can make changes to the times and the temperature. During this demo, I'm going to show you times and temperatures that work for me. Now, of course, you can use whatever works best for you and your home. I'm going to set my wake time for 5 a.m. Now we're ready to adjust the temperature. Now here's a convenient feature the Smart Thermostat offers. It allows you to program your temperature for both the heating and the cooling season, all from one screen. Now during the winter season, we recommend a temperature setting of 68 to 70 degrees, and for the summer season, a setting of 78 to 80 degrees. So let's set the heat for 68 degrees and adjust the cool air for 78 degrees. That's it, you've just programmed your wake settings. Now you're ready to program your leave setting. Simply select the leave button and you'll notice it's now flashing. Remember, a flashing set point means you can make changes. Our leave set point is important because this is where we start to save energy and money. To reduce your energy consumption and save you up to 10% annually on your heating and cooling costs, you should adjust your heating temperature to drop anywhere from 3 to 5 degrees and set your cooling temperature to go up 3 to 5 degrees when no one is home. So let's do that right now. We're going to follow the same steps that we did for the wake settings. I'm usually out the door by 8 a.m., so I'm going to use 8 a.m. We want to save energy, so let's set the heating temperature to go down to 65 degrees and the cooling temperature to go up to 83 degrees. Now that takes care of the leave set points. Now we're going to focus our attention on the return set point. Let's say you return home from work about 6 p.m. You can program your heat back to 68 degrees and your cool air to 78 degrees. For the sleep set point, I'm going to set the time for 10 p.m. and I'm going to set my heat for 65 degrees. You can afford to do that assuming that you're under warm blankets. And in the summertime, I'm going to set it for 78 degrees. Once you're done adjusting your four set points, select Done to save your changes. You've just completed programming your weekday settings. Like most thermostats, the Smart Thermostat also features an override option. To temporarily adjust your temperature, touch the up or down arrows for the desired temperature. This temporary change will override your scheduled settings and hold until the next scheduled setting. You can make your temporary hold a permanent hold by touching the hold button. You'll notice the permanent hold on the screen. This will remain and override all scheduled settings. To return to the normal scheduled setting, touch the schedule button again. Congratulations! You've just learned how to create a scheduled program on your new smart thermostat. Now don't forget to program your weekend settings. Simply apply the same steps for Saturday and Sunday and you'll be good to go. Enjoy your new smart thermostat. It's going to offer you comfort, convenience, and savings. I'm Albert Cantu. Thanks for watching. To find out more information about programming your CPS Energy Smart Thermostat, refer to the Honeywell Operating Manual or you can call the CPS Energy Smart Thermostat Hotline at 